Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make mead in your dryer. Let's get started. All right, this is a pretty simple thing. I mean, we're gonna make a mead, we're gonna make it in our dryer. So uh, the way, what you're gonna need for this is your honey, your water, your yeast. We're gonna talk about that in a second. What kind of yeast do you need for this? And your dryer. So what I'm gonna do I gotta weigh out some honey first. We're gonna go ahead and mix together our recipe on the screen. Now, one thing, one little fun fact about this, if you take, I'm gonna put an actual bung on this with the that's closed, we're gonna mix this thing up in our dryer because you can do that. So let me go ahead and throw it in and then we'll turn it on and it'll, it'll take about, um, every time I've done this, it's been about 15, 20 minutes for it to fully mix together, but let's go and do it. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Ah, oh, look at that. Holy cow, I told you it worked. That thing is mixed up. All right, here we go. All right, so let's uh, move this stuff out of the way. We don't need this right now. We do need to take a gravity reading, and then we'll talk about our special, special yeast. All right, so our starting gravity, 1.0. Seven, two. Now let's talk about our special friends who are gonna make this happen. This, uh, this is a pretty complex meat, honestly, and you really gotta time it well with the dryer. I've, I've done this about five or six times now, and uh, it's tough. I found out the best yeast for the job is the Lutra Kvike. Now, uh, this is a dried Kvike yeast. We all know that Kvike yeast are pretty much beasts when it comes to mead making especially in heat. So here's what I'm gonna do. I, this is too big of a packet for one gallon. So I'm gonna use part of this packet. Uh, it's 11 grams. I'm gonna estimate it to do two. Give our yeast a little bit of an army. So uh, I'm just gonna dry, pitch them in. Cause again, they're beasts. I'm gonna put roughly what I would say is two. Well, that was probably more than two. And Another trick here, there's two extra tricks for this. So, breathable silicone bung. If you use an airlock and you know water or whatever else in it, it won't work. I've tried that, it just goes everywhere. But when you put the breathable silicone bung on, it just like makes a protective barrier. As that thing is spinning in there and rotating and it's fermenting, it uh, holds it all together. Then, the last thing, and then we're gonna put our meat away to start fermenting, is dryer sheets. Now you're looking at me going, oh my gosh, can you believe it? Dryer sheets, there is no way that helps us ferment. I haven't experimented with the different brands of uh, dryer sheets, but I think from my experience, I did one one time with, with and without the dryer sheet and there was a huge difference. So we're gonna ferment with our dryer sheet. So let's go ahead and let this start going. Throw our dryer sheets in. And here we go. And so we begin. Well, uh, it's been about two weeks. Let's see if it's done. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that thing looks good. Ooh, okay. Oh, dang. Talk about the power of Kvike. It's not really that clear, but we got our mead and it uh, it's, looks like it's done pretty well. I don't see any more uh, off gassing. I don't see any bubbles. So let's get a gravity reading real fast. All right, we got our gravity reading. We are, well, 1.004, so pretty much dry. Let's get a taste. I will note, has a little color change from uh, previously. Mm, 
just a little booziness on the nose. Yeah, I think what really helped was the um, the dryer sheet that I put in with it. It kind of gave it more of a fragrant aroma. I think, and that really is pronounced the honey character. I could have switched brands. I had a Walmart brand dryer sheet, but I'm sure that I could have gone with a, a better one. Oh, I mean, it smells good. Let's taste it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be good. Honestly, I'll probably have to age it in there too because this right now, uh, I think with a little more action, we'll uh, hopefully get through those last four points of gravity, but also might taste pretty good. I mean, it's pretty dang, pretty dang good. And honestly, pretty simple. Kvike, yeast are, are beasts. And uh, all you gotta do, shake up your stuff, throw some Kvike in. Really don't even have to shake it up. You just put it straight into the dryer. Uh, let it let it shake itself up. Put the Gavik in, and there you go. So today you have learned how to make mead in a dryer. Uh, you know, if you want to try this method, go for it. But this has been fun. Make sure you use the right dryer sheet if you do this, though. Don't use. Well, I guess you could sample. I don't know. Tell me which kind of dryer sheet you want to try with your dryer mead. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.